Hello buddies. Welcome to Arvion. Today we dive into a fascinating question that humanity has asked for centuries. Can we really live longer? For thousands of years, kings, philosophers and scientists have dreamed of a longer life. Ancient legends spoke of fountains of youth and magical elixirs. But today modern science has taken this dream from myth into laboratories. hospitals and biotech startups the question is no longer whether we can extend life span but how far we can go and at what cost imagine this the first person to live to 150 years old may already be alive today does that sound unbelievable stay with me as we explore the science the experiments and the debates that surround the quest for longer life first Let's look at where we stand today. According to the United Nations, the global average life expectancy in 2023 was about 73 years. In developed countries like Japan, the average is much higher, around 84 to 85 years. Compare this to just 150 years ago, when average life expectancy worldwide was only about 30 to 40 years. In other words, humanity has already doubled its lifespan thanks to clean water, sanitation, vaccines, modern medicine and better nutrition but what about the extremes the longest verified human life is jean calment from france who lived to be 122 years old she died in 1997 and still holds the record so far no one has been able to beat that number even though millions have tried why is it so difficult to cross that limit To answer that we need to understand why we age in the first place. Aging is not just about wrinkles or gray hair. It is a biological process at the cellular level. Scientists have identified several reasons why our bodies wear down over time. One key factor is cellular senescence. As cells divide and replicate, they eventually reach a stage where they stop dividing. These senescent cells accumulate in our tissues, releasing harmful substances that damage nearby healthy cells. Another reason is telomere shortening. Telomeres are the protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes. Imagine them like the plastic tips at the end of shoelaces. Each time a cell divides, these telomeres get shorter. When they become too short, the cell can no longer divide properly. leading to aging and cell death we also accumulate dna damage over the years ultraviolet radiation pollution and even errors in dna replication gradually break down the integrity of our genetic material and then there there is mitochondrial decline mitochondria are the power houses of our cells generating the energy we need as they weaken our cells struggle to function All of these processes combined make us weaker with age. But here is the interesting part. Scientists now believe that aging is not just destiny. It is biology and biology can be changed. Some even argue that aging itself is a disease that can be treated. So what experiments and breakthroughs are bringing us closer to longer lives? Let's look at some of the most promising ones. First, Telomere research. Nobel Prize winner Elizabeth Blackburn discovered the enzyme telomerase which helps rebuild telomeres. In laboratory experiments, mice with boosted telomerase activity lived longer and healthier lives. This raised the question, could telomerase therapy extend human lifespan too? Next, caloric restriction. Studies in worms, flies and mice have shown that reducing calories by 30 to 40% without malnutrition can extend life span by up to 30%. Even monkeys placed on long-term calorie restriction showed lower rates of cancer and diabetes and they aged more slowly. Human trials suggest that reduced calorie intake improves markers of aging such as blood pressure and cholesterol although the evidence is still developing. Another major breakthrough comes from gene editing and epigenetics. Harvard scientist David Sinclair and his team used a set of proteins called Yamanaka factors 
to reprogram old cells in mice back into a youthful state. Incredibly, some of the vision of old, blind mice was restored. Sinclair has suggested that partial reversal of aging in humans might be possible within decades. Senolytics are another fascinating approach. These are drugs designed to target and remove senescent cells, the so-called zombie cells that refuse to die but damage the tissue around them. In studies at the Mayo Clinic, mice given senolytic drugs lived up to 30% longer. Early human trials are underway and the results are eagerly awaited. Then there are existing drugs like metformin and rapamycin. Metformin, a common diabetes drug, has been linked to lower rates of cancer and heart disease in diabetic patients. Clinical trials are testing whether it can extend healthy lifespan in non-diabetic people. Rapamycin, originally discovered as an immune suppressant, has extended lifespan in mice and even in dogs. Some scientists believe it could become one of the first true anti-aging drugs for humans. So where does this all lead us? Let's talk numbers and projections. Some scientists believe we may be able to push the average human lifespan to 100 or even 120 years within this century. Aubrey de Grey, a controversial longevity researcher, has even suggested that the first person who will live to 1000 years may already be alive. Most experts disagree with such extreme claims, but they agree that dramatic progress is possible. Realistically, by 2050, average life expectancy in advanced nations may reach 90 years. The anti-aging industry is already booming, valued at more than $70 billion in 2023, and it is expected to exceed $120 billion by 2030. Companies and investors are betting big that the future of medicine is longevity. But as with any great breakthrough, there are ethical questions. Who gets access to these life-extending treatments? Will they be available only to the wealthy or will everyone benefit? If people live to 120, what does that mean for population growth, for the environment and for jobs? If someone retires at 60 but lives until 120, how will pensions and social systems survive? There is also the question of purpose. Does extending life make us happier? Or does it simply stretch out the challenges of existence? Some argue that a longer life gives us more time to learn, create and love. Others fear it could lead to inequality and overpopulation. So let's step back, where are we today? From telomere extension to calorie restriction, from gene editing to senolytic drugs, the science of longevity is advancing at a pace never seen before. We may not be immortal yet, but we are certainly pushing the boundaries of human lifespan. What remains uncertain is how far we can go and how society will adapt if we do succeed. Will we live not just longer, but healthier lives? Or will we extend the years without improving their quality? As of now, the dream of a longer life is no longer just science fiction. It is a global scientific effort, backed by billions of dollars and some of the brightest minds in biology. What do you think? Should humanity pursue extreme longevity? Do you believe we are meant to live in 20 years or 150 years or even more? Or do you think aging is a natural process we should not interfere with? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Arvion for more deep dives into the future of our world. Thank you for watching.